Hey, I'm Ranger Cookie, and today I'm gonna do a little thing with my clay stove. I do believe it needs to be a little higher, so I'm gonna work on it. So if you've been inspired by me to make a clay stove in your yard, make sure you make at least the. Uh, okay, come with me real quick. You want to make. It hide it as a concrete block. So I make, I think I made a flaw in my concrete, my, uh, my clay stove, and I think it needs to be higher. Because I see videos of people using fire, and the, the stove is pretty high. Let's, let's take a look at how high this is. Alright, the concrete stove. Let's see how high it will be. Okay, I'm going to put my hand down with my fist. So, right here so i did a measurement i'm gonna do a little scratch mark basically this little little slot so let's go to my clay stove and make sure it's the same depth because i do believe keeping it the same depth as that thing there will be a better stove so come on let's find out if it's not that deep i'm going to make it deeper so if you're going to make one of these please make sure it's pretty deep i put my fist closed and went to that line right there so well that's about a foot and a half so my hole has to be a foot and a half to make it work complete so watch take a look make sure you're watching me all right there's my uh clay stove all my ingredients ready i got my log sprayed let's see how deep it is oh yeah it needs to go another foot up when you're making your clay stove make sure you got the depth because I believe the depth is going to help my fire blaze up. Because that's what's called airflow. It flows the air, comes out, and makes a good flame. So, I'm going to work on it today. Are the ingredients? Hey, look at me! <laughs> Why are you not watching? Okay. I don't have a wheelbarrow, so I'm going to use this thing here. I don't have a wheelbarrow, so I have to use this. I got my ingredients already. I got dirt. Dirt, or we want to call clay dirt. My red clay, water, sand. So basically, you want to take your, throw your dirt in, throw some mud in, throw some sand in, throw some pine needles in. Oh, yeah. The pine needles helps it, keeps its form. Water, I'm telling you, it just, just takes barely a little water to mix this up. You can always add more water if you need it. And you need a shovel. I'm gonna go in there and just stir it up. It'll probably take a lot of dirt. Put it this way: when I started this project, it was two buckets like this of the sandy mud, two buckets of the red clay, my sands over there, and I didn't use straw the first batch. But I learned you need some straw. And I might need some more water. I want to cut the scene out. I'm playing in the mud, Mama. <laughs> mama, little wait, man. You might not get your shoes dirty. But Mama, that's what the shoes are for. They're getting dirty. I can't hear you. You get your shoes dirty. But Mama, don't worry, Mama. Now, we're about to probably be better. See? Look at that. That's what you want. Then, hey, hey, you not watching? Come on, turn around and watch me. All right, now, you can see there, 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 I guess. <laughs> Mama, Mama, go to beat me if I get my shoes dirty. I tease you. Don't forget to spray your, whatever you're using. Because you want to pull it out. That crystal oil, whatever you got on your stick is going to pull out easier. If you got, when you're mixing your stuff, when you're mixing your stuff, make sure you don't have no powder. You want that, all your stuff wet. So mix it in, or add water. Don't want it dry. Remember, you want a base like that. Oh, watch me. There you go. Now you're watching me. A little sand. Again. So if you are building one of these, make sure deep. Or 
that deep. Because I find out when it's deeper, it works better. I believe when I add this new part to my 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 stove. Come on, look up a little bit. Come on, help me. When I add this up, I think it's gonna burn much better. I can always cut it off, you know. Simple to take down. That's why I made it out of clay. I can destroy this thing anytime, anytime I want. Now there's different ways to making your, your clay stove. You don't have to make it the same way I'm making it. Never, it's your point of view. Your you. My yeah, you want to mix all that up really good. Get all that dry stuff wet. You want nothing dried. You want it all wet like a paste. Working cement. Now, if you want, you can make the clay stove out of cement. It's up to you or the concrete blocks. And Jake, you want me to work on next? Do you want me to work on the can worm? What the hell is that? You have to ask. Or do you want me to work on the earth battery? Earth battery? Well, we got choices we got to make. I can work on both of them and show you only the videos you request but you know how that is oh I want this so the most requested for the object the earth battery the worm can I'm sorry can worm now remember you don't want it too soggy you want it like a paste like that final touch I'm gonna try not to use straw because I don't want it all sticking out my uh hide all that straw so we'll make a batch of clay with no straw so I can just put it on top of my my stove just to make it nice and pretty because you have all that straw hanging out see all that straw hanging out that don't look good <laughs> oh you can just use right now I'm going to pee you I got about the right height now so I'm gonna finish it off with what I got here. Then we'll round it off. You get to watch me play in the mud. <laughs> Why are you not in uniform? Well, I told you already. <laughs> Mama wants to beat me. Nope, to keep the sun off. Should make one more batch with no straw. Because I want to make it look pretty on the outside. And that's the fun part. I get to play in the mud. Really play in the mud. One with clay, dirty mud, and I guess I have to go get some sand. I'll be back. Forget to wash out of your utensils. This stuff does get hard as a rock. Concrete. And I'm really telling you it's like concrete. Oh, I don't got enough water. Damn you! So, if you aspire to make this hobo, please make it high enough. Because I, like I said, it was a test. And I did the test for you, so you can do it right the first time. Thank you, Ranger Cookie! <laughs> You're welcome, Mama. Mama was right up guard. Don't you love the smell of mud? <laughs> When you was an evil baby, when you smug make mud pies. I don't think of it. I think I am making mud pies. You see how tall it is now? Come down, watch me! And over! There you go. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta work on the. I want a, uh, a good foundation on top because I'm gonna put my pans up here. Try to keep your. Um, Keep your block leveled and put the clay with no straw on and pack it in where you need it. And this should be dry by tomorrow. If not, no rain comes. Now, if it don't work, I can always cut this off. So, it's not a fail. I mean, it might be a fail because I can't cook on it. But I think it was needed to be higher. That's why I'm adding it up. 
because it didn't give me the flame I wanted. I wanted a high flame. I got another rocket stove at my other camp, and it's higher, and it produces way better than this stove. So I had to think, what's going on? Is it too low? So that's my only conclusion I can come up with. It's just too low, and I need to raise it up. And don't forget to put mud down below. It's not going to hurt if you put some mud on this thing. Make it look pretty and this, uh, probably like this is like a gift. You want to make it where it look good. Do it for yourself. Do it for my mama. <laughs> mama beats me some showers. Alright. Now I have to get the front where my knee pads were at. Damn you, boy. Try to keep it as flat as you can on top. Make sure your your whole uh, your stick is in level. Now you can take water and smear it and make a really a smooth surface, but I like that rough look. Just like sheetrock on your house. Now you look up, oh look at pretty sheetrock. That's what I like. I got a nice flat surface so I can put my pans up here to work with. It looks like it's almost what uh, three feet wide. And I'm getting to the back part. And if that clay falls off the side, it's all right. You just pick it up and throw it on your your clay stove. All right, let's work back here. Yeah, it needs. It has some straw hanging out of it back here. Now, if I want to, I got extra clay that needs to be used. It's not much, but what I could do is come over here and make a small foundation table. See, I can add on to this thing. I can add a table this way and that way, put all my food up there. It's up to you how you want to build your clay stove. I don't have enough clay to do that, but hey, at least I'm making a, a round foundation around my stove to make it look probably better or nicer. You know, I mean, you can real you, you can really use cement in this project, but I recommend you use chicken wire for your stabilization and some rebar maybe. All right, now thank you for watching the Ranger Cookie Show. This is breaking my back. I'm too old for this crap. There you go. All right. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll be right back. Cookie cookie. And I'm just finished my last project. I do not believe I have to touch this clay stove no more, but cook on it. Because I did test. The first time didn't work. It wasn't high enough. Did a second test. I don't believe it was high enough. So now I measured it with the real rocket stove, measured my hole and where my level of my mud needs to be, and there it is. Don't forget to clean your bucket when you're done and your shovels and put your lids on your container because you never know what you want to do later. You might add a table there. Now, here's the question to my viewers. I want to know what project do you want me to start next? Do you want me to start the can worm? What is it? Basically, it's a bunch of cans linked together to a box to keep heat, cook your food. It's a trial test. And keep you warm in winter. Or would you like to see the earth battery? Would a survivalist, campless, and 
bushcrafter need their earth battery. An earth battery is taking copper, link, or some type of materials and make a battery using dirt, water. So you got a choice. I'm gonna start both of them at the same time. I've already started one project. But you like to see the can worm? Let me know. Or you like to see the earth batteries? Which one? Whoever has the most comments about which one you want to see next goes up. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I will say see you in the next video. Mama, worry. <laughs> Mama, mad at me. I got my shoes dirty. Don't hurt me.